Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today I'm talking about uh, the money series, and we're going to zero in on paying yourself first because this is one of those points that many, many financial advisors, uh, as well as people that you might know, will tell you you need to do that, okay? We're not going to get into scriptures in this audio, and we're definitely not going to talk about giving, okay? The problem that many people have, especially believers, is not about giving. The problem is making sure that the needs on the home front are taken care of first and foremost. Okay, and sometimes what's happening is, is that people are too busy trying to get that high of giving that they don't see that it is affecting getting their needs met. So if I'm paying myself first, I have my paycheck in front of me. I know that I need to take X amount of dollars out to get my needs met. I'm going to feel content. I'm going to feel satisfied. I'm going to know that, okay, these things are taken care of and therefore I'm not feeling bad. Okay. So paying myself first means that I'm going to take part of that money and that's going to be untouchable money, not the needs yet. Part of that money has to be untouchable money. Why? Because I never know what's going to happen in the future. And the Lord does. And nine times out of 10, it's going to be related to money. I don't want to be caught off guard. So I've got to pay myself that money that is untouchable, that money that I can look at and say, wow, it's growing. I see the fruits of my labor. Sometimes people get to a place where they resent their jobs because they're taking their money and they're giving it away or they're spending it up. And so they don't really see the fruits of their labor. If I can just have a dollar or more where I can see it grow in something, then it's going to make me appreciate what I'm doing more so. And I'm not going to feel so bad because I see the fruits of my labor is going somewhere. Okay. That's going to benefit me later on. So. You're paying yourself first with that money that's untouchable. And then, of course, there's that money that is going to meet your needs. Okay, so you're coming up with, okay, I need these clothes or I need these shoes. Do you really need them, though? Because if you already got a wardrobe full of clothes and there's no place that you're attending anytime soon and you already got a bunch of shoes and you know that uh, you really don't need any more shoes. I mean, really, just to match an outfit, that's not good enough. That money that you would have put toward those wants, you can use that and put it towards the needs like paying off some debt for one. Okay. And I know this from personal experience because I'm walking in it right now. Uh, The other thing is that if you are having trouble figuring out, well, how much exactly am I supposed to pay myself? I will tell you that since in the church, they like to Porsche 10%, 10%, 15, 20%, what have you pay yourself that pay yourself that. Why are you paying somebody else that pay yourself that that untouchable money should be 10, 15, 20% depending on what you can afford. And you can get a good idea of what you can afford based on how much you've been spending last month, the month before. Okay. Take a look at how much you spent last year. What were your needs and what were your wants? And then you'll be able to come up with the money because the first thing people will say is, well, I don't have enough money and I can't afford. Yes, you can. Well, you don't know my money. Yes, you can. Because when you look closely, you'll find out that some of those things you can sacrifice. You don't need everything. Some of those memberships, uh, things that uh, you do around the house or don't do around the house, but yet you're paying for them or Things that you're uh, participating in, holiday celebrations for one. Does everybody need a birthday gift? Is are these people who, if you were in a dire strait, are you going? Be, are you able to go to that person and they're going to make sure that they hook you up interest free, without having to pay them back? Okay, so why are you spending so much money investing in their birthdays and other holiday celebrations? Okay. Because some people will say, well, the reason why I'm doing it is because this person I know for a fact. They're going to help me out if I'm in a serious, serious bind. Okay, I can understand that. But some of these people, they've already proven to you that when you did go through some stuff, oh, sorry, I'm short. Oh, sorry, um, I need my money back. When you plan on paying me my, paying me my money back, okay? Some people give you grief when you do ask them. 
Sometimes you got to dust your brain off because uh, you will recall those times where they weren't really there for you, even though they said they were. And just because they gave you the money, mm, they gave you a headache, too. Is it really worth it? So, no, you can cut out some of your expenses by just knocking out the holiday celebrations and knocking out a trip for at least a year. Some people, they're always taking some kind of trip. But meanwhile, you've got some problems going on on the home front. Your uh, your basic maintenance home type of stuff needs to be done. Gutters need to be clean. Shingles need to be put back. Um, there's some wiring that went haywire. There's a, a driveway that's got a bunch of potholes and so forth. The house needs to be painted. There's some appliances that need to be replaced. There is pest control and uh, carpet shampooers and everybody else that needs to come over there. So then why are you taking these trips? You see, so you cut out the expenses and you make sure that you get your necessary needs uh, accomplished. OK, uh, we've got folks that's got cars that need to be tuned up and so forth. Once again, if you know that these things need to be taken place, then why is it that monies is being used for uh, wants rather than needs? And then for some people, they need an extra job because they've got so much debt. OK, that debt, that job could that extra job, extra income, what have you could be made doing something that you really enjoy. OK. Uh, so there's research that you can do in terms of creating a product or service that will bring in the extra money. So the money can, can be brought forth. That extra money can be brought forth, but it's just a matter of sitting down and really thinking hard rather than going into defensive mode and talking about what you can't do. Uh, the other thing is, is that when you're paying yourself, you're investing in yourself. You're investing in maybe the fact that I don't like this job, but in the future, I want to be my own business owner, entrepreneur, what have you. Then that's enough motivation right there to want to make you want to sit down and say, look, I'm not going to keep buying this stuff for these kids. These aren't even my kids. <laughs> OK, I'm not going to keep uh, paying for these trips. This man, he doesn't even act like he's interested in going on any of these trips. OK, what am I doing? Buying all this stuff up, you see? That's motivation enough. Uh, the other thing, um, it's a quote that I came across. It says, a part of all I earn is mine to keep. Uh, sometimes you need to have some type of declaration or some type of motto or mantra that's going to keep you inspired and motivated. A part of all I earn is mine to keep. This way it gives you permission to say, it's okay. It's all right to give to myself. I deserve this. I worked for it. OK, even though there's people around you that might guilt you, they might say some things like, mm -mm, you don't deserve that. I mean, all the grief you give me, please, we're not going to go down that path of guilt trips. And well, you know, honey, after all we did for you, you owe us. No, uh, -uh. a part of all I earn is mine to keep. Thank you very much. So uh, <laughs> the other thing you might want to look into, too, is. Uh, learn more about investments. OK, some people, oh, I stay away from that because I'll lose money. Well, some folks is losing money every time they play the lotto. Hello. Every time they uh, pull up, pull um, a scratch off ticket. OK, mm hmm. Uh, some folks are losing money. Think about all the times you lose money. You lose money when you uh, participate in somebody's uh, drawing. Right. So. Why wouldn't you want to look into investing in an in index fund for starters, since they have a long track record of doing better than mutual funds anyway? Might as well check it out. Find out as the S&P 500 index. Learn as much as you possibly can. Look into the growth index and the small cap 600 and any, any other indexes and find out about these things. OK. We're not talking about giving away thousands and thousands of dollars when you're just getting started. But the thing is, is you want to broaden your mind a bit when it comes to investing money. OK, some folks say, well, I don't want to go that far, but maybe I want to purchase a property. Can I invest that way? You can do that. But remember, you also got to have the money to keep up that property. You also have to pay taxes on that property and insurances and so forth. So. Just start small. Find something that's comfortable for you. Talk to people who have invested and have done well, whether the market was high or low, 
and see what happens, okay? But this is about you today. This isn't about everyone else. And I think that's what keeps some people broke is because they're too busy looking at what everybody else is or isn't doing. They're too busy uh, listening to some voices in their head from way back when, usually some broke people who have given them so-called advice. Uh, they have pulled on some childhood memories of seeing some parents at the bingo halls and uh, buying lottery tickets. I know I was one thinking about that sort of thing. And maybe, just maybe, oh, I might win a big one. And then when you start talking to people and they say your chances of getting hit by lightning are greater than winning the big one. Then it brings some things into perspective, at least for me. Now, for some people, they get that information and they still will continue to put that dollar, two dollars, three dollars. And sometimes it's not even about them really winning a big one. They just want a little bit of hope because their lives aren't that great right now. They just want to feel something positive. And so, okay, I'm going to play this game and maybe this will uplift my spirits for a while. And it does temporarily. And then it's back to, uh, especially when you find out that you didn't win. So these are practical tips. Focus on yourself first and foremost. And then uh, we're going to talk about those other things where you've got people uh, and organizations that's kind of pulling on your finances. OK, but God, he wants us to take care of ourselves. He has given us the uh, skills and he has shown us um, the errors of our ways and so forth. So if he didn't want us to be about self, it's mighty funny how he will uh, bring all sorts of signs, wonders, visions, and everything else that are about ourselves, okay? So this foolishness that people come up with about, oh, no, you, oh, no, it's all about everyone else. Jesus, he served everyone. But Jesus couldn't have been any benefit to anyone if he was not spending the needed time of lifting himself spiritually, physically, and mentally. There were times where he stepped away from people, he talked with the Lord. He had times where he was uh, talking about himself and what the mission was. Uh, there were times where he demonstrated things, okay, to show people who he was, okay? So we can't say that, oh, he was just totally zeroing in on everyone. There's moments where you can clearly see that Jesus also was concerned about himself. He made sure that he got out of the way when the crowds came and wanted to take him out before his time. He had to look out for himself. Some of you all, you totally missed that. If Jesus at times had to look out for himself, he knew he was on a mission. He knew he had a calling. He knew at times that he was going to even have to talk about himself and he would have to spend some time alone and pray to his heavenly father by himself. And that he couldn't rely on the disciples. Then why is it that there's so much focus in on on uh, other people and what other people are saying and doing and so forth? OK, so give glory to God, but at the same time, thank him for yourself. OK, and thank him for the accomplishments that you have made using him. Right. At times you had to pray to him and ask him uh, to be with you and uh, be with other folks and so forth. So give honor to God and also be grateful for yourself and pay yourself and do the necessary things that's going to increase your wealth. So four points, pay yourself. You're going to put aside some money out of that money that you pay yourself, which is going to be your untouchable money. You don't touch it. This is money that you're going to use to put into something that is going to grow your money. OK, maybe you want to start with a savings account because, well, it's conservative. I am not ready for anything big. Then start there. But then you also want to educate yourself on Things like the SP 500 index and growth index, small cap 600 and so forth and any other indexes in addition to uh, some other ways to invest your money. Okay, 
uh, small ways. Uh, you might find yourself creating some products that's going to give you pennies on the dollar. You might find yourself doing some things on the internet that over time the money grows. Uh, you might uh, discover some things that you can do, some services you can provide the community. Once again, bringing some money to yourself okay so there you have it we will get into some other folks and some organizations and some things in other audio dealing with money so thank you as always for taking the time out your busy schedule to listen you've been listening to nm enterprise 7 please do subscribe check the description box for anything that might be of interest and we do welcome donations to god be the glory